Hello Freddy, it's Pi27 here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a house explode in Blender. Really simple, even though I'm sure there is an easier way of doing it, because my way is slightly strange. Um, if you're a complete beginner to Blender, then the basic controls are use your mouse. Well, I've got an Apple mouse, so if you've got one of these, use your kind of mouse weird trackpad wheel thing on the top to rotate the area thing. So you can change your view and then press and hold control and do that it works in default yep yeah, I think so then you can use control on that to zoom in and out and then um, right click it select it press G to grab it and then you can move it around and press left click to save it at that position then R to rotate it then you can press left click to save it again then S to scale it then you can make it bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller that's basically the basic controls of Blender. I'll just make my cube a little bit smaller. I've only had Blender for about a week, but I've already managed to make a house explode. It's not a very good animation. It's not perfect, but it's good for one week's worth of Blenderiness. So what you'll want to do in the beginning is you'll probably have a cube like this. How I built the house is I basically got lots of cubes. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. And then I got one cube first. I changed the colour of it. See that little round ball of things there? You press that, weird monkey, when, yeah, and then you press under diffuse, click that, then you can change the colour of it, you can also use HSV and hex, no idea what that is, but you can use all of them, I just have my cube like that, like I did earlier, oops, maybe press N to save it or something, yeah, enter, and then here you have a cube, all you got to do is command C to, or control C, depends what thing you're using, to copy it and then command or control V to paste it. You press grab to G to grab the new version. And you left click to move it to where you want, like I might move it like that. And how I did it is I just basically got lots of these and made whole walls out of them. You can also press C, then use your mouse cursor wheel thing um, to change the size of the copier, that's what I call it, until you can copy all of those and can press command C again. Or control C and then command or control V then press G to grab it then you have another pair I basically made massive walls out of that if you want a roof thing then you can go and add I think it might be a mesh no no idea one of these uh, you can just yeah use a mesh plane thing and grab that and put it as your roof and you can also use this same plane for the floor um, this is what I did, so there you have a floor. And now I will just show you uh, how it looks like when it should be finished. I mean, how it should look like when it's finished. See you in one second. Well, this is what it should look like when it's finished. Just change it to default so you can have a better view. So if you want to know how to animate it, it's this little choose screen layout thing here. Just heard a random fly a fly just buzzed in front of my face and just flew off. It's so animation, and here is the little thing. You should see something like this, but without all of these squiggly lines and marks along the bottom and dots and random stuff there. How I want to do it is you'll set to frame 25. Obviously, my house is already exploding, so this is what it'll look like frame 25. I'll just do a new startup file. Here we go, and here is a cube. You'll press uh, I to do to bring up this insert keyframe menu. Then either left click or press Enter to do lock rot scale. So this is if those two dots appear there, then this is what it will be like in the beginning. Frame one. Um, then you'll have to change to frame twenty five or however whatever watch whichever frame you want. And you can press G to grab the cube and then you can move it anywhere you want. I'll move it just here for example so that's what it looks like to the camera I'll and then left click then you can also press S to make it smaller and bigger so I'll make it about that size and then say R to rotate it I'll rotate it there then press I and enter lock what scale then all these squiggly lines should come up then if you go backwards in frames and it'll slowly get bigger and spin and basically all you've got to do is do this with a massive house of things do this with tons of different cubes in your house so they all, I don't know, spin around then fly backwards so remember it's G to grab then you can move it where you want then left click then press R then spin it 
make sure you're on frame 25 or whatever frame you want to do this and then you can just press I then lock what scale and then it'll lock the location in then basically you do that with tons of cubes and the roof and everything and you can also right click the camera then grab it to move the camera around so you can change a different camera perspective change the camera perspective yep that's what I meant to say all along yay and then oh yeah also if you've got it grabbed then you can press Z to lock it to the Z axis Z axis no idea what that is and X to move it along the X and Y to move it along the Y which is quite helpful sometimes and then you can just change the camera thing and then once you're finished you'll choose a place to save it press that button then choose a folder or something to save it then how I did it is I changed it to MPEG so I've got a Mac so all the Windows formats won't work change that to MPEG4 then just um, choose your where you want to save it by pressing that button then and you can also put a name in there and just press animation it'll rent, start rendering the animation and then a little alert will come up probably in the top right that will say your blender animation is finished and then should be in your folder or wherever you saved it and then when it's finished it should look like this <laughs> hope you enjoyed that tutorial I might make more in the future so stick around if you want to learn how to do blender I might make like a beginner's guide to it so when I learn something I'll put it on here because I'm just starting I'm not pro at blender or anything I mean yeah so I might make some more projects and stuff like that if you guys want to see another project then you can always put it in the comments and yeah be sure to like and subscribe obviously and see you in the next video